Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together. All right, so we have covered the previous question or this question in the previous uh, video. So I wanted us to continue on to question 4.4 .4, uh, because it does seem quite a long question. So I didn't want the previous video to be very long, right? So if you haven't watched the previous video, please make sure that you go to that one before you go into this question. Right now, 4.4 .4 says if the sum of the two cons uh, of two consecutive terms rather. So uh, for those of you, please note consecutive just simply means it's two terms that follow one another. Right. Uh, in the pattern is one, two, two, seven. Calculate the difference between these two terms. Right now, we've already looked at these terms. Uh, extensively we found out that the value of p is 7 q is 16 and uh, we found our pattern our quadratic sequence in this case uh, to be tn is half n squared plus 2 right so they say if the sum of two consecutive uh, uh, sequences in this case uh, is 200 uh, uh, 1227 so that means I am going to take t n minus one plus t n. Nothing wrong with you if you said uh, you're going to take t n plus t n plus one is equal to one two two seven. So whether you express it this way or you express it this way, uh, either way you will still get to the same uh, answer, right? So what does that mean? It means I am going to take our pattern. Remember, our pattern is half. Right. So instead of n, I'm going to put n minus one. So that's half n minus one squared plus three over two n minus one. OK, so everywhere where there's supposed to be n, I'm going to put n minus one right plus two but i'm adding to that tn which is half n squared plus three over two n plus two and this is equal to one two two seven i believe they said one two two seven right all right now let's try and solve algebraically Right, so we're going to have 1 over 2. Now I'm going to uh, multiply into this bracket. So that's going to be n squared minus 2n plus 1. So we have to be careful here. That's n minus 1 squared. And uh, when you multiply inside, uh, in this case, it's n minus 1 times n minus 1, right? Plus, that's 3 over 2. N, we have to be very careful when dealing with these, right? 3 over 2n times negative 1 again. So that's minus 3 over 2, right? Plus 2, plus 1 over 2n squared, plus 3 over 2n plus 2. And this is equal to 1, 2, 2, 7. Right, so let's try and... Um, just make this as simple as possible. So I'm going to and multiply the half into the bracket. So I've got half n squared minus n. So a half times 2 gives me 1. So that's minus n plus 1 over 2. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is try to simplify uh, this. So I'm going to find all the n terms. In this case, that's 3 over 2 and 3 over 2 there. Um, do I not have any other n term? No. So in this case, that will be 3 over 2n plus 3 over 2n, which will give me 3n. So that will be plus 3n. So I've gotten rid of those. And then I have got 2 plus 2, which is 4 right uh, minus 3 over 2 um, in this case that will give me uh, 5 over 2 right um, you can verify that quickly 
uh, so that would be 4, sorry, that's 4 minus uh, 3 over 2, yeah, that's 2.5 for to put it in fraction form 5 over 2, right? So that would be plus 5 over 2. So I've gotten rid of those, but remember we still have plus 1 over 2 n squared. And this is 1, 2, 2, 7. Right, so let's try and simplify even further. Right, so there's my n squared terms. Half n squared plus half n squared, that will give me n squared. Right, and I've got for n, I've got minus n plus 3n, which would give me plus 2n. Okay, so that and that, that and that I've gotten rid of. Okay, and I've got 1 over 2 plus... Uh, 5 over 2, okay, and that would give me plus 3, isn't it? Okay, so that would be plus 3, okay, so I've gotten rid of that, okay, and this will give me equal to 1, 2, 2, 7. Now, of course, we can solve this as a quadratic function, right? Uh, equation plus 2n. Okay, bringing this over to the other side, so it becomes 3 minus 1, 2, 2, 7. Um, I will end up with minus 1, 2, 2, 4, and this is equal to 0. Yikes! Uh, you can use the quadratic formula, uh, but I do want to kind of take my chances on this one. Um, I don't know what I will get. Okay, the factors of 1, 2, 2, 4, such that when I subtract them, will give me 2. Let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 2, 4. Um, let's see. Divided by. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we it is um, divisible by 12. So if we say 1, 2, 2, 4. Um, divide by. Let's see, if we said 36, ah, there, oh, that was purely coincidental. Okay, so 36, it gives me 34. So it means that those factors would be 36 and 34 because when I subtract those two, they actually give me two um, back. So that will be N and N, that would be 36 and 34, right? And in this case, of course, the 36 is positive and that is negative. So that uh, we have a positive in our middle term, right? So therefore, n is equal to 30, negative 36, or n is equal to 34. Now, obviously, this is not applicable. Why? Because we cannot have n as a negative number. It has to be a natural number number so the answer is 34 but remember that's not what we're looking for they wanted the difference between the two terms right so in this case let's find what tn is actually so tn is 1 over 2 34 squared plus 3 over 2 times 34 plus 2 right uh, that was our Tn, yep, plus 2. Okay, right, let's try and find that. Uh, so that's 0 0.5 times 34 squared minus 3 over 2, okay, times 34 and plus 2. Okay, so I get 529. So it means that that term, uh, so T34 is 529, right? And now, remember that the sum of them, so it was Tn minus 1 plus Tn, which gave me 1, 2, 2, 7. Do you remember that? Okay, so Tn minus 1 plus Tn gave me 1, 2, 2, 7. So I need to find this term. I just found this one. So Tn minus 1 plus, uh, and there's nothing wrong. You could have actually 
uh, substituted there. N minus 1 would be 33. So you could also have found T33 substituting 33 into that equation, right? But I just want to cheat the system a little bit. 529, it's not really cheating. Uh, 1227, right? So that means Tn minus 1. So meaning T33, let me not call it N minus 1. It's T33 because uh, N we've just found out is 34, right? So that means that N minus 1, which is T33. Okay, uh, there we go. Um, so that's T33. Remember, they are consecutive terms. So um, that would be 1, 2, 2, 7 minus 5, 2, 9. Okay, minus 1, 2, 2, 7. Okay, I get 698. Okay, so that's 698. All right, so T33 is 698. And by the way, we need to make sure that when we add those two, they give us 1, 2, 2, 7. But they said find the difference. So I'm going to find T34 minus T33 in this case. What does that give us? It gives us, uh, so we are taking um, 6... Okay, uh, so that's 639, okay, 698 rather, uh, minus uh, 529, okay, and what does that give us? Uh, I have a feeling that I've actually swapped them around, uh, but nonetheless, you know, the, we're still conveying the same truth. Um, uh, so that's five six ninety eight minus five twenty nine, okay. So that's six ninety eight minus five twenty nine, and this gives us one sixty nine. Okay, uh, I do get the feeling, ladies and gents, that I did swap them around uh, um, a bit uh, because that's an increasing sequence. So t thirty three was supposed to be less than. Uh, T34, right? Uh, but nonetheless, um, yeah, uh, looking at it, so that would give us, uh, in this case, the difference between them would be uh, 169. All right, uh, please note, uh, again, 529 plus 698, that would definitely give us 1227, but the difference between them, in this case, gave us 169. And so I hope you do understand what we've done in this question. As I said to you, it was quite a long question. That's why I thought it deserves to be looked at on its own. Otherwise, ladies and gents, I will keep it here for now. All right. And please just don't forget to subscribe and like and share to as many as possible. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.